I welcome the opportunity that we are finally discussing this bill. We have waited far too long. The bill attempts to ensure that the Irish-speaking population can engage with the state through Irish. So how did we get here? In 2011, the programme for government stated that the intention to review the 2003 Act to ensure expenditure on the language is best targeted towards the development of the language and that obligations are imposed appropriately in response to demands from citizens. And there was an attempt in 2014 to amend the legislation, but that never happened. We recognised then that the existing bill was no good. And here we are, finally, in 2020, that's over nine years later, to, and to, to amend this outdated piece of legislation. And while it has taken a long time for us to get here, it's been a hard battle to get here as well. And it is welcome that we are doing so now, but we need to act with urgency. However, the bill does not go far enough. And while I am happy to hear that the government is introducing amendments, and indeed we haven't had sight of them, but from what the Minister says, they, will, they simply do not go far enough either. The proposed amendments do not recognise the emergency that exists in our Guildfucks. Once again, the government is not listening to the people who are directly affected by this legislation. The government is not even listening to Kostya Nagelga, Kostya Gelga, Kom Kostya Nagelga, Nagelthakta, August Nahalan. The members of that committee travel around the country to every Gaeltacht. They listen to the people on the ground, people who have, been, who have been a deep understanding of the emergency that faces their population. They heard from the Commissioner Changa and all interested stakeholders, and it's clear that the government is not listening. On foot of this, the committee established and the committee published a unanimous cross-party report in May 2018, which contained 20 practical re recommendations. In that report, the chair of the committee expressed serious concerns in relation to the lack of recognition of the emergency in the Gaeltacht and among the Irish-speaking community. This concern is not addressed at all in the bill. The people on the ground relayed to the committee that, unless supported, the Irish-speaking population of the country will be wiped out. We know that the population of native Irish speakers is at a critical point. And so we must start with the recognition that there is an emergency. There must be a strong statement in the bill that we are in an emergency, like there is in the Climate Change and Biodiversity Emergency in the Climate Change Act. And an urgent action plan to address that this emergency is now needed. Native Irish speakers, or people who choose to speak Irish, can't engage or interact with the state in Irish, notwithstanding recognition in the Constitution that, that Irish is our first, first official language. And in this regard, the proposed amendment that by the year 2030, 20% 20 of public service employees will be bilingually partly addresses that, and this is to be welcomed. However, and alarmingly, the amendment as proposed would permit whatever minister is in charge to extend this time once again. Already this date of 2030 is much too far out, and we want to give the minister of the time the option to push it further. And really, truly, we're going to act on climate change, but we're not going to act on the Irish language, and that's really what's, what's, what's going to happen here. The reality on the ground is that people cannot access services through Irish, be it online, on the phone, or in person. This was laid bare just this summer. The public consultation pre process on the mess that is the forestry bill, and which impacts on great swaths of the Irish-speaking population, was not available through Irish. Another section of the bill that needs to be addressed concerns the powers of the Commissioner Changa. Currently, the Commissioner is permitted only to act within the confines of the Official Languages Act. The powers of the Commissioner must extend beyond the Act to enable the Commissioner to examine other legislation as well. And that's vitally important in this day and age, that the Commissioner Changa would be able to look at other Acts and other parts of this Government to see how it is actually benefiting the language. This is, after all, our official language, this is state language. You wouldn't, you wouldn't ex ex uh, see it anywhere. Similar to the way in which we poverty, poverty or gender proof quality uh, proof legislation, the Commissioner must have the power to ensure that legislation recognises the emergency exists and actually acts on it, or at least does no harm. That would be the least that it could do. So while I welcome that we are discussing this bill, the reality is that it simply does not go far enough, and I look forward to further discussions at committee stage when we will put amendments forward to actually make this bill work. Thank you.